The company involved in that gas explosion where one worker died and a family's home was destroyed stresses that it has a good safety record. 23 ABC's James Johnson gives us a closer look into that company's history. James. This is not the first time the company Big and Deep has been involved in an accident dealing with underground utilities. They were involved in one in 2012, one in 2014, and the latest happening last Friday. Big and Deep Ag Development is a privately owned company that provides services such as tree and vine ripping as well as almond harvesting. Last Friday, the company was involved in a massive gas explosion, killing one of its employees. The company says with more than 12 years of experience and hundreds of clients, they have a solid safety record. But last Friday's gas explosion is the latest accident the company has been involved in. Back in 2012, OSHA issued a $225 fine against Big and Deep after an employee received first and second degree burns to both forearms and face when hydraulic fluid leaking from a tractor supply hose ignited setting the tractor's cab on fire. The company was also involved in an incident in 2014 where another one of their employees struck the same line hit Friday. Nearby schools and residents were evacuated. No one was injured. The California Public Utilities Commission investigated that accident and determined PG&E failed to mark pipeline locations as requested by Big and Deep. They also were cited for failing to follow procedures and having a PG&E rep on site while that work was being done. PG&E has disputed these claims. And safety is always a, a top priority for any of these types of operations. Larry Pinkett is the spokesman for Big and Deep and says the company makes sure all of their employees are trained on how to do their job safely. Main focus right now is to try to uh, determine what happened uh, in uh, the incident last Friday and uh, go from there. Meanwhile, the investigation continues. The coroner has identified the employee whose family is hoping to get answers into what happened. Yeah, I always worry about him. I mean, the type of work he does is, you know, dangerous. His employer is keeping in contact with me because I want to know. I want answers of why and how it happened. We reached out to the Ruckman family who was injured in this blast, and they say that they're not ready to comment on what happened. They, too, are looking for answers, and Big and Deep says they will continue working with investigators. Reporting live from Southwest Bakersfield, James Johnson, 23 ABC.